I believe one thing, guys, in as much as this topic is trending and, uh, you know, the topic is dying a little bit. It's not that trending anymore. On like uh, the past few days, as of yesterday, you know, the people are not that talking about the matter of Amobad. But I pray, I'm hoping that this uh, Nollywood entertainer do not turn this whole scenario into a Nollywood movie. Because there's this uh, activist online who came online recently and name is uh, just, just, her name is Adinto. Well, she came on live and uh, she was talking to herself. Apparently, she said Mubad was speaking to her. That Mubad was alive. Uh, sorry, that Mubad, who died recently, was speaking to her through the spiritual realm. That she can see Mubad. That Mubad was sending messages. Was sending messages to his mom, sending message messages to his dad and to his son, to his wife, to his fans that he needs prayer, he needs this and need that. <laughs> oh God! Well, I do not see spirit, and I don't ever want to see spirit. I don't know what spirit look like, eh? and I don't believe in spirit. The only thing I believe in is a uh, gene. That's according to my Quran. So I don't believe in anything like spirit. Eh? I don't believe in that. But I believe there are so many other things among us that we do not see with, with our ordinary eyes. So maybe uh, activists are they talk, is among those few people who can actually see the spiritual realm. <laughs> and Mubad appeared to her and, and Mubad was communicating through the spiritual realm, directly to the living realm, talking to Adetua to speak to his fans, to speak to his mom, to speak to his father and everybody, guys. But most especially asking for prayers, asking for prayers. So the woman actually took Mubaz's picture, went to the, uh, to the uh, preacher house to preach, to pray for Mubad, which is really, really good. Let me be completely honest. The guy needs all the prayer he can get. That is why up to today as a Muslim, it's good to do sadaka on behalf of your parents. It's good to do sadaka on behalf of your late relatives. Because the blessing will still get to them. It's advisable to do that, guys. Really, really advisable. So just maybe she can actually see things that we do not know. You know, I don't want to completely discriminate her or completely say uh, she's lying. No, 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 no. I cannot see the spiritual realm. So if someone said she see Mubad and she can speak to Mubad, who am I to say she's lying? <laughs> it's not what I know that I say she's lying. It's what I know that I can deny or agree with. I don't know nothing about it. I cannot see the spiritual realm. Or maybe she can see the spiritual realm. There's still another pastor. I will call this a pastor. Sorry. There's still another uh, prophet who demands to see Mubaz's body. According to him, he promised to wake him up. He said, just give me Mubaz's body. It doesn't mean if Mubaz don't spend like three months for his grave. If he is, he said he can still wake Mubaz up. Oh, God damn it. He said he can still wake Mubad. He can speak to Mubad to wake up. That's what this man is saying. Speaking Yoruba. He said he can speak to Mubad to wake up. It doesn't matter if that guy don't stay for ground for one month. Ha. If he don't stay for ground, stay. But he don't decay or he don't talk to Bono, but he say he can still wake that Bono up. The only recorded man that, that ever stepped on this earth that has been able to wake the, the, the dead, honestly speaking, is uh, Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ. Recorded ever. 
is Jesus Christ. And I know there are still other prophets who might have done similar miracles, but it's Jesus Christ. Forget all those prophets of nowadays. We have seen numerous videos of uh, some prophets waking up the dead. Forget all those things. I don't believe it. It's a big lie. Hmm? Such power do not exist again. Such power do not exist. It's not as if it doesn't, it doesn't exist, but it doesn't exist in man again. Well, let me know exactly how you feel about that, guys. And again, if Mubad can speak to that woman, why don't the woman just simply ask Mubad, what do you think killed you? Who buy you, Mubad? Tell us. Who buy you? Then Mubad will tell that woman and the woman will tell the public. Or is there any rules that stop Mubad from speaking about who handed his life? In the spiritual realm, you should let us know, guys. Now, and meanwhile, uh, some Larry and Aramad are currently enjoying themselves, whether you like it or not. You know, they are enjoying themselves, guys, whether you like it or not. They have not been indicted yet, but they have been placed on wanted list. They want them to come to Nigeria, they want them to come to police station to explain themselves, but nothing yet. They are not doing that. I can't wait for the autopsy, guys. I'm still waiting dearly. I mean, a lot of Nigeria deserve to know what happened to Mubad now. In fact, in Bimbe State, they protested. It's not as if a, a, a fatal protest or it was a peaceful protest. So many other states as well. So many other states as well. So it's not as if it's, it's a violent protest. a very peaceful protest. We do not need to be violent in order not to incur so many other uh, issues again for, for all of us. And meanwhile, let's listen to Mubad's stepmom, stating reasons why Mubad's neck was broken. You know, I have usually talk about why um, Mubad's neck broken and, and, and pushed into the, uh, the coffee so that it can fit the coffee. According to Mubad's stepmom, this was her excuse. I'm going to read it for you guys. According to her, someone who translated what she was saying, they said, the woman said, when Mubad died, the pastor tried to pour anointing oil on his head by lifting it up a bit. When, the drop, when he dropped the head, the head shifted to the left hand side by itself. So the body get shifted. So the body got stiff. He said, when Mubak by the pastor be one point and went here from Mubak there. So he can't come out the head a little bit. Once he come out the head, the head can start to bend like this. It can start to bend by itself. He can't just stiff from here day. Ah. I wasn't there, oh. but is that even possible? Medically, is that possible for her to shift, go one side by himself? I wasn't there, so I cannot say if it's true or not because I wasn't there. But uh, judging by what people are commenting on that picture, I might think that woman is lying. You know, the only sketchy thing about the whole bombard passing there. Is the father. Some people are already insinuating that Naramalia and Samlari may have paid that nurse. They should question the nurse. The nurse is already arrested and they should question the boys who took Mubad to the hospital. Those boys that were shouting in the car, oh Mubad, don't buy, Mubad, don't buy. They should question all of them to state their own part of the story. Hmm? They shouldn't let them just go freely like that. I shouldn't let them just go freely like that. He will have money. That one is still enjoying himself well. We are waiting for we are waiting for police report. We are all carefully waiting for police report. Like I've said, I hope that police uh, report benefits all of us, and they give many of us a sense of uh, of. Uh, of justice 
That's what they call it. Justice for Mubarak. Justice for Mubarak. Justice for Mubarak. You know, justice for you might not be justice for someone else. And the justice for someone else might not be justice for you. So whatever outcome, you just need to accept it. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not the one to tell you to accept anything, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. It is well. It is well. So let me know exactly how you feel about what we just discussed. And then kindly leave your comment below. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next.